Okay, guys, it's time for another one of these Habs news update thingy-majiggies. And in today's jiggy, we're gonna take a look at who just got signed by Kent Hughes. And we'll also take a look at who just got fired by Kent Hughes. But first, Craig Button, come on down. He's the mayor of Hoovon. He just released his final draft rankings just a couple of days ago and prepare to be amazed. He's got Axel Sandine Pelican ranked fifth overall, even a hit of Will Smith. He's cuckoo for Coco Puffs about him. He's also got Ryan Leonard at 12, Zach Benson at 14. It's going all over the place, which is to be expected. And to be completely honest with you guys, I really don't like seeing Axel listed at number five, but one thing I do like is the fact that he's got Quinton Musty ranked at 31st overall, okay? Because this is a player that I'm really interested in. He's six foot two. He looks a bit like Dawson from Dawson's Creek. He just put up 26 goals and 52 assists this season in 53 games for the Sudbury Wolves. And needless to say, I I'd take this big greasy bastard with Florida's pick any day of the week. Moving on, the Laval Rocket yesterday went out and re-beefed their lineup. Okay, they signed a pair of lunatics, Riley McKay and John Parker Jones. Both of these guys are gonna get a one year, one way AHL contract for next season in Laval. And I gotta say, I was pretty happy that they brought these guys back because the AHL is still a tough league and you're gonna need them. Riley McKay played 23 games with the Rocket last year. He put up two goals and five assists and a whopping 118 penalty minutes. <laughs> He's an animal. And meanwhile, John Parker Jones, who I remember scoring this beautiful goal right here against the Sunset Camp. Remember that one? Anyway, he put up two goals and one assist in 20 games. Now, John Parker Jones is a bit of a freaky dude. Not only is he like seven feet tall and pretty much the big show on skates, but he can also play multiple positions. If you need him to play defense, he plays defense. If you need an extra guy for the fourth line, he can play forward. If you can find goalie equipment that actually fits him, then won't you look at that? He could probably get in it too. He's only 23 years old. He's undrafted. And I'm really happy that both of these guys are getting another shot with the Laval Rocket next season. Now, next up, we got some pretty juicy news here. And this is coming straight from Tony Marinero once again. Apparently, the Canadians have fired their head physiotherapist and their head athletic therapist. Whoa, now, it always sucks seeing people lose their jobs, doesn't it? But I mean, what have they been doing to the boys? The Canadians lineup has been completely trashed with injuries over the past couple of years. Poor Paul Byron has been held together by duct tape men. So it's been long overdue for some changes to the team's medical staff. I'm kind of hoping they bring in a whole new team and even replace the main guy. <laughs> King Charles, I've been calling him. You gotta admit, he kind of does look like King Charles. But anyway, jobs have been lost. And if you're a physiotherapist, you might want to get your resume and put me down as a reference and I'll make it happen. So now that we got that out of the way, I, I just wanted to take a quick minute to update everybody on this Pierre-Luc Dubois, Young and the Wrestler situation. Because there's been just pure drama oozing out of Winnipeg, and here's the latest. From what I've been reading, apparently Dubois wants money, and when I say money, I mean a lot of money. More than Cole Caulfield, and more than Nick Suzuki. Elliot Friedman on the 30 something podcast the other day claimed that he believes it's going to be somewhere between 8.75 million and 9.15 million. Somewhere in that range. And in my opinion, that's, that's way too much money. I'm sorry. I got no problems making the team better, but coughing up 9 million bucks for somebody that hasn't even cracked 70 points yet, it just it doesn't sound very team friendly to me. Also, there's another team in the equation now. I'm sure you guys all heard about this, but apparently the LA Kings are pushing hard to get Dubois right now. There's even been some rumblings about Quentin Byfield. His name is getting tossed out there. Byfield's name has been used by Kings fans when they're talking about Dubois trades. And for some reason, the strangest part about all of this is, it almost seems like Habs fans are using Kirby Doc's name. Why do we want to trade Doc already? No, no. He's been a good story. Keep Doc's name out your mouth. See what I did there? That's who the Habs are drafting fifth overall. Two weeks from today. Are you excited? Because I'm pretty excited. 
I can't wait to see how all this unfolds. The draft is going to be taking place on June 28th, so you might want to circle that on your calendar. And also, June 22nd is worth pointing out as well, because that's when Bob McKenzie is going to release his final draft rankings and i'm pumped for that too that's it for this one guys don't forget to cross check the like button in the back before you leave here and hey i'll see you next time